Here's another video of my plain old Ontario Rat 1. But, oh wait, there's something different. Shazam! Glow-in-the-dark scales. CNC machined. Nice radiuses on all the sides. And boy, do they glow. Doesn't that just look sweet? Stock. Shazam. Awesome. It totally changes the whole look of the knife. Makes it look more expensive. Love it. <clears throat> and what do we have under towel number one? Boom! Even more! I got four and a half full sets. This one right here is the uh, the display side, the front side. So I got four sets, four and a half sets. First prototypes, Rat 1 Glow in the Dark Handles. These are not going to last long. Surprisingly, the uh, like I've been carrying my first prototype for a week, and uh, the acrylic, it's basically just acrylic, um, it holds up decent. I figured it would scratch up really good, but it doesn't. It fingerprints like crazy, but as you can see, but it's it's pretty durable. It doesn't scratch up too bad. I mean, this is obviously the glow in the dark is for for fun, you know, for play. I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't expect it to hold up quite as durable as G10 or FRN or whatever. But um, it's too cool. Now I'm going to turn the lights out. These are only charged by uh, just the ambient light in the room right now. It's pitch black outside, by the way. Um, so it's not as bright as it could be. And the night vision on this camera is a little... Could be uh, more to be desired, but um, hopefully we'll see a little bit of a glow. And then I'll take my flashlight and I'll charge them up real good. Lights out. There you go. And they glow for hours and hours and hours, all night, pretty much. Um, if you charge it up real bright, the glow only lasts for about half an hour, and then it dissipates to about this. So I'm going to pull one of these scales away, charge it up with my flashlight. I'm just going to charge a hotspot on it. <laughs> That's about five seconds with a maybe 100 lumens, 130 lumens, little Nightcore AZAA. This stuff is so much fun to play with. I've had mine in my pocket for a week, and every time it gets dark, every time I go into a dark room or whatever, I can't help but play with it. And I got my flashlight in the other pocket, so I'm just having all kinds of fun. And your pocket glows at night, too, which is wicked. And when it's charged up real bright with a flashlight, I mean, I can, I can literally hold my knife in front of me and walk through a dark house. And there's plenty of light to walk by. If you hold it close, you can read a book by it. Um, but as you can see, I mean, this bottom one here is charged up decent. I'm sure it can get a lot brighter still. And this is only 5 or 10 seconds with a little LED. And uh, you can see how much brighter it is than sort of ambient glow. But so much fun. So much fun. Let's try to... Uh That's what, one or two seconds? What I want to try to do is uh, put a stencil on one of these. 
some sort of a stencil and then charge it up so it'll glow in the pattern of uh, whatever the stencil is. So there you have it. Prototype Rat 1, glow in the dark handles, scales. Uh, John Grimsmo here. These were very fun to make. Pretty finicky, but uh, <coughs> very fun, and I, I will be making a lot more in the near future. And then after this, the Spyderco Tenacious will be the next donor for glow in the dark scales. So stay tuned. I'll have a blog up soon. I'll be posting on knife forums, EDC, USN probably. Uh, going by the name John Grimsmo. And uh, yeah, hope to meet you all in the forums and get right into it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.